Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is part three of a super fun collab that I've done with my beautiful friend and soul sister Anki. It's a build your own palette collab. The first video was creating the palette with our singles. The second video was the swatch party and this one is two looks with our palettes. Guys, if you don't know who Anki is, you really should. She is amazing. Hopefully I've remembered this time to put pictures up. I know I forgot in the swatch party and I suck. I try to remember these things. I just have shit for brains. Um, but yes, if you don't know who she is, this is the beautiful Anki. She is stunning. She is super talented. She is the queen of build your own palettes. She is just a colour queen. She is beautiful. I love her. She has been a part of my life for three years now and a very important part. She's just amazing. I love her. And if you don't know who she is, get your ass over to Anki's channel, subscribe, watch her videos. You're going to love her. Um, I will have her channel and video linked in the description box below. So if you haven't already subscribed, pause this, nip over and subscribe, and then come back and watch, because then you can't forget. That's my logic anyway. Um, but yeah, guys, so this video is the two looks with the palette. I finally decided on a name for my palette, and it's Autumn Leaves. I know, really, really, just, yeah, I just... When I look at it, I just think of autumn leaves, so yeah. Autumn leaves is my palette. And yes, if you would like to see two looks, this one is one. <laughs> if, you, if you would like to see two looks with this palette, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so for this first look, I'm first going to go into this shade here from Lethal Cosmetics, 1UP, from the 1UP palette. It's called Insert Coin, I love this. And I'm just going to take that on a P. Louise hashtag 182, quite a fluffy brush. It's kind of, I don't, I don't know how to describe that. And I'm going to take that right on this inner part here. This is such a beautiful shade. It doesn't swatch the best, but as you can see over an eye primer, that is pretty stunning. I love this swatch. And it's really got that kind of yellowy green of the fallen autumn leaves which I love and if you know me you know I'm all about the greens yellowy greens it, bluey greens just greens I am like a green fiend I've been so excited to play with this palette it's kind of I was so proud of this one you have to let me know what you guys think. What do you think I did? A good job picking colours that kind of represent autumn, fall, depending on where you're from. Yeah, that is such a stunning shade. And then with nothing else on, I'm just going to kind of pull it over like that with nothing else on. I mean, I haven't added any more to the brush. I'm just pulling the shade across so that the next shade kind of has a base to blend into. Please excuse the, I want to say children, but I think the teenagers out there are shouting away, as you do. Okay. And then I think the next shade I'm going to go into is 040 from Sigil Inspired by Tammy Tanuka. And I'm going to take that on another P. Louise, hashtag 182. 
and I'm gonna bring that right in kind of the center. And kind of blend it backwards slightly. That is beautiful. And then kind of blending it up and out. So we're still dragging outwards. That is such a beautiful shade. I'm guessing it's school kick out time. Yeah, I'm really kind of getting some depth right in the crease there. And then just softly, really softly blending backwards just a little bit. I'm barely touching as I drag that backwards. I don't want to bring too much. And then up and out. Oh, these shades together are just magical. So yeah, every time I go in with a little bit more, I take it into the crease before then blending up. Up and out. That's so pretty. I think I have a stray eyebrow hair that I should have pulled out. Hopefully it won't <laughs> muck it up at all. Yeah, I'm bringing that kind of lifting it as I drag it out. Okay, so I think I've dragged it in a little bit more. I don't want to over blend and make it look muddy. But, oh. Yeah. I'm definitely liking how that's looking. That's cute. I'm gonna go back in with the brush that had that first shade on. I'm just gonna kind of go over that blend just a little bit. For the outer part of my crease, I'm gonna go into Derry, which is from the It's Freaking Bats palette, Shroud and Butty Bean. I love that shade. I think that's going to look absolutely gorgeous just on this. Just this outer part here. Look at that. Just giving that depth just underneath. I'm just going to softly kind of blend it into the other shade. I just really want this, this real depth here. Look at that. It's such a stunning shade. And it's blending so nicely into that. I didn't even say what brush I used, did I? I apologise. Um, this is a Boozy Shock UP25. It's just quite a... a fluffy, slightly pointy brush. Yeah, I just want to make sure I really get this depth right here. And then blend that up and into the other shade. I'm just trying to keep the blend soft. Yeah, that's looking really nice. I like that. Ooh, okay. 
Okay. I'm loving how this is looking. And how do I want to go about this? Okay, I'm going to go into Pink Frog from Glam Shop Poland. And I'm going to take that on this Lois Cosmetics flat brush. This is just going to look so beautiful. Yeah, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. You can really see the pink shift. I'm really hoping you'll be able to see kind of the green and the the gold as well. I think with this shade, I don't really want to go put in another shade. I think it kind of needs the space to show off its shift because it's so pretty. It's just such a stunning colour. I don't know what you're seeing on the camera. Are you seeing the shift? I hope so. Yeah, it's really, really stunning. Like as I turn my head, I'm seeing green, gold, pink. And there's almost kind of a rusty tone in there as well. It's just so pretty. Such a beautiful multi-chrome. It's definitely one of my favourites from Glam Shop. I think they really did an amazing job with this shade. It's so, so pretty. If I try and turn my head enough. I hope you can see it anyway. Because it really deserves to be seen. We'll go in and blend the, the mat into that a bit better after I've got this on. Look at that. I mean, with a shade like this, you don't really need to add more than one lid shade because it looks like it already. I'm just going to dip back into Derry and just to add that back. Oh, it's so stunning. Yeah, I love how that's looking. I'm just going to quickly clean up under my eyes and pop a bit of eye primer and we'll come and do a lower lash line. Okay. So I think next I'm going to go into Frantic from Lethal Cosmetics and I'm going to take that just on this Morphe pencil brush. I just popped some of the P. Louise base in Rumor 02, just the same as what I used on my upper lid. And I just want to get some depth kind of against the, the lash line and further out just to kind of marry it up to the top bit just a little bit. This is definitely one of my favourite of Lethal's mattes. It's such a beautiful shade that I really don't use enough. And when it comes to red shades, this is definitely the kind of red that I enjoy working with most. I don't often use a lot of red. And it's just because it's just not the colour that I'm most comfortable using, confident using. 
It's fun. With, with reds, it's very easy just to make yourself look tired and ill. Or is that just me? <laughs> but I do love this, this shade. I just think it's gorgeous. Just like that. And then I think, let's use you. Think. I'm going to go into Beach Please from Popping Glow, which sadly is no longer. But hopefully, hopefully she'll come back. And I'm taking that just on this Morphe M149, so like a, a softer pencil brush. And I just want to take that right, right on the inner part of the lower lash line here. Super stunning. Again, you're seeing the pink more so. It's got this really nice kind of yellowy, yellow shift. It's just beautiful. So it just adds just that little bit of something different. I do love this shade so much. Beautiful. Uh, Absolutely beautiful. I'm loving how that's looking. Okay, guys, I'm going to nip off and finish my face, and then I'll come back and show you finished look number one. So if you'd like to see that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so this is finished look number one. I'll just come a bit closer. I'm so happy with how this look came out. I think it looks very on season i'm loving it and um, before i hand you on over to look look number two i'm just gonna let you know a couple of the bits that i popped on my face so for blush i use the physician's formula butter blush in the shade movi mattes Is it matte manoi butter blush um i love this it's super cute looking smells lovely and um, yeah i love that you can kind of get the different shades from it um because i try and do the deeper on the out and wet my way in kind of getting lighter um yeah this is a beautiful blush i love it um for highlighter i use the kaleidos mars melter i absolutely Ooh, adore this it's so beautiful i use that for highlighter but i also use that for my inner corner and brow bone highlight and i think it went beautifully the mascara i used is the be perfect lash out mascara i actually really enjoy that for my liner i use the austri cosmetics catitude two-in-one liner and lash adhesive this one is the shade wine it's this color and i love my catitude liners they're amazing um i'm a brand ambassador also for Artitude cosmetics any discount codes i have are always listed at the bottom of the description box so yes there's that um the lashes are from unicorn cosmetics which is a uk indie brand also and these are the style Enchantra and I love them I think they're beautiful I do love the lashes from Unicorn Cosmetics um, I haven't actually used them for a while but I love these in my waterline I went with the made by Mitchell all smudge no budge liner in the shade sunny days I just thought the the yellow kind of I don't know made the the pinks and that stand out just that little bit more I love that. Um, what am I missing? Lips. Um, the lipstick I went in with is from Revolution. It's the Revolution Pro Matte Lipstick. It's the shade Noir. And yeah, I just thought that this was kind of the perfect, perfect shade to go with this look. Let me know what you guys think. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy with how this look came out. Let me know what you think. 
I will now hand you on over to look number two. Okay, so for look number two, I'm first going to start with Torment from Lethal Cosmetics. And I'm taking that on this fluffy brush from Artitude Cosmetics. And I'm going to tap my eye primer down. I have primed my eyes with the P. Louise Base in Rumour 02. And I'm going to take that along through my crease there. I do love this shade, it's beautiful. Again with the word beautiful stuff. I just think it's, it kind of goes with a lot of other colours. <laughs> Mind you, I say that and my colour theory understanding, um, I don't tend to kind of play into it and I probably should, um, but I don't know, I just think it kind of limits creativity when you're just trying to think all the time, or oh, will they go together as such. And I think when, when I start looking at it like that, I s start thinking too much and I just find then you know, I'm never quite as happy with my looks. So I'm kind of packing it right in the crease and then blending up and out. I'll make sure I have that shade further in as well. Yeah, that looks good. That's looking gorgeous. So the next shade I'm going to go into is Bravo from Sydney Grace. This gorgeous green. And I'm going to take that right in this outer, outer V here. And just pack it right in there and then blend. Blend it up and out, add into torment. Yeah, these shades just look so gorgeous together. Well, the brush I'm using is another one from Artitude Cosmetics, um, and it's a slightly angled, fluffy brush. Slight, yeah, angled, fluffy brush. I love these brushes and guys I am a brand ambassador for Artitude Cosmetics I do have a discount code and I do have a link also which I need to get in my description box also um, these brushes I love I use them all the time that, that looks stunning Okay, so on to shimmers. I think for the outer part, I'm going to go into 096 from Sigil Inspired by Tammy Tanuka. Such a gorgeous green shimmer. I'm not using any glitter primer. I haven't been doing that a lot of recent. I just think I've been finding a lot of the time that they kind of they last and crease less on their own most of the shimmers I use it's so pretty really nice grungy green I'm just using one of the flat brushes from Artitude Cosmetics from the collection that came with the Maneater Untamed Palette. such a beautiful color and then using another Artitude Cosmetics flat brush from the same Manita Untamed collection I'm gonna go into Zombie Flesh from SMB Beauty and I'm gonna put that across kind of the middle part really 
these shades do pick up better on if I might just do it with my finger and then touch it up with that because these um, shades from s &B Beauty definitely apply I mean look at that apply better with a finger because I think it's because they have that kind of slightly tacky consistency but oh look at that so pretty and I'm just going to use the brush and just to kind of tidy the edge so pretty so pretty and then I'm also going to use spell casting from SMB Beauty and I think I'm going to take take this brush here so I can't get my finger in there so I've got this Spectrum A16 flat brush and I'm just going to see if I can pick enough up on the brush. Yeah, I think I can. Yeah. They do pick up on a brush. They just, they're a lot easier and kind of you get a better payoff with your finger you can use them with brushes but you do need to use them with the flat ones because where they are that more tacky consistency um they won't pick up on a fluffy one the fluffy one just doesn't have the strength to pick it up I'm making it sound like my my brushes could do weightlifting but yeah <laughs> Have muscles. Yeah, that looks stunning. Yeah. Now, see what I do with picking these up with a brush is I kind of push, push the brush down into it to kind of rough it up a bit, and then pick that up the bits that have kind of been roughed up on the brush so you've got any any shimmers that are that more kind of tacky not so loose not so soft that's the best way I find if you're wanting to work with them with a brush if I had smaller fingertips, I see some people who use their fingertips to like do the um, inner corner highlight. Now, if I do that, I end up with an inner eye highlight rather than an inner corner highlight. So I must just have bigger fingertips. <laughs> That's... That's what I'm guessing anyway. Maybe that's not it at all. But maybe it's just my precision with my fingertips. Anyway, how did I get onto that? I have no idea. But yeah. So yeah, little little tip if you're wanting to use a brush with these kind of eyeshadows. A kind of stiffer flat brush push it into it to rough some bits up you don't need to do it to kind of let me see if I can do, do, to do it this way what I'm doing I don't know if you can see it's kind of pushing into it you see and you just get those bits there and then they're the bits that I'm picking up on the brush so I'm not attacking it I'm not being too rough with it Just enough to pick those bits up. Oh, look at that. that looks so beautiful. I'm loving that. So beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna pop a bit of eye primer under my eye, eye eyes, and then we'll do the under eyes. So just a second. 
Okay, so I've primed under my eyes with the P. Louise base in Aroma 02, and I'm going to go into Torment from Lethal Cosmetics, and I'm going to take that on a Morphe pencil brush. And I'm just going to take that kind of all the way along against the lash line. Beautiful shade. I just love how well this goes with that kind of grungish green, mossy green. Looking beautiful. And then I'm going to go into Sundew from Glam Shop Poland. Another absolutely stunning shade. Ooh, picked up rather above there. And I'm just going to take that most of the way along, kind of, so it's kind of built up, built up on the inner part, but then out into the rest. That looks beautiful. I'm just going to dip back into Bravo, the green. I'm just going to use the pencil brush that I used with the torment on the lower lash line. I just want to bring a little bit of that depth just onto the lower lash line. Yep. I love that. Okay, I think, what do I want to do? So for inner corner highlight and possibly brow bone highlight as well, I'm going to go into Beach Please from Popping Glow. And just pop that, yeah, look at that. Stunning. pink shift to that really kind of adds something that I love. And just drag that up, just to kind of connect it into the look a bit more. Yeah, I'm going to pop a bit of that, a bit of that under also a bit a bit a lot <laughs> that looks so pretty i'm loving how that's looking beautiful so i'm gonna nip off and finish my face and then i'll come back and show you finished look number two have a chat wrap up so if you'd like to see that and hear that then don't go anywhere okay guys so i'm back with finished look number two I am loving how this is looking. I love that it's so different from look number one. Um, I think I might have to say this might be my favorite of the two. I'm not sure. I'm looking at this now thinking this is my favorite, but when I come to editing, I might change my mind. Who knows? Um, but I'm loving how this is looking. I'm just gonna quickly let you know a few of the bits that I popped on my face. So for blush, I use the Moira Passion Blossom Blushing Goddess Duo. And I used this side here. I love that. Um, it's beautiful. Yeah, Passion Blossom is, is the shade name of the duo. Steph, pull yourself together. Okay, um, the highlighter I went in with is the Juvia's Place. It's the Nubian by Juvia's Loose Highlighter in the shade Nefertiti. I thought it went beautifully. I haven't used this in ages and I don't know why because it's so pretty. So pretty. Um, for liner, I actually, I used the LA Girl Line Art Matte Eyeliner in Espresso um, to do a winged liner, but I then went against the lash line with my Artitude Cosmetics Catitude 2-in-1 Liner and Lash Adhesive in black. Um, 
to well kind of line and stick I don't know what's going on with my brain today but it does not want to help me out with words the lashes are from unicorn cosmetics they are the unicorn lashes insta famous I think that's the name of them 3d luxury lash reusable 10 plus wears um but I really love these and I love that I can wear my glasses with them too so it's going to make editing easier I haven't got to take my lashes off to do my editing um but I love the unicorn cosmetics lashes I think I actually used unicorn cosmetics lashes in look one also yeah I did I did the mascara I used is the be Perfect Cosmetics Lash Out Mascara in black. And then in my waterline, I went in with the She Glam Chromazone. It's a multi-chrome gel liner in the shade Subliminal. I have all three, but I know that they discontinued at least one of them. And I don't know which one. I'm hoping it's not this one because this is a really beautiful shade, especially for this time of year. It's gorgeous. Um, what am I left lips um so i was feeling like i wanted something a bit glossy so i used the made by mitchell beam lip gloss um in the shade orangey glad and i think it looks beautiful yeah i'm loving the gloss with this look i do like a gloss anyway so guys this is my look number two let me know what you prefer do you prefer look number one look number two let's have a chat um so let's have one last look at my beautiful autumn palette i'm just gonna call this autumn leaves it's taken me till now to find a name and for some reason the only thing i think of when i look at it is autumn leaves so this is my autumn leaves build your own palette my autumn fall inspired Palette. Um, I love this I've had so much fun playing with this I love building palettes it's just so much fun and I have Anki to thank for that because she got me into it she inspired me to start collecting single eyeshadows and creating palettes and you know it has just become such a huge love for me I I just sit there and make myself color stories just for the fun just just to sit there and put some shades together, see what I can come up with. It's so much fun and yeah, I have Anki to thank for that. And yeah, this is my Autumn Leaves eyeshadow palette. So much fun and I love it. I'm going to be sad to take it apart. Maybe I won't take it apart for a while, who knows? Um, but guys, I've just I've thoroughly enjoyed this I really hope you've enjoyed this let me know what you think do you love these build your own palette videos I just always find this so much more fun excuse the beeping outside I always find this so much more fun when I do them with Anki because she shares that passion that love of creating the palettes of playing with the single shadows the swatching I love Watching beautiful shadows I could just sit and swatch up and down my arm all day every day and I would be happy I don't think my skin would be particularly happy but I would be and I'd look very pretty yeah um, so Anki thank you so so much for collabing with me again I cannot wait for our next build your own palette collab these are just so much fun and I wish we could do them every week. That would be a lot of work. I know that's not realistic, but I am so excited for our next Build Your Own Palette collab. I've had a blast. Anki, you are amazing. Thank you for getting me into this. I cannot wait to see your two looks with your palette. It's stunning. And I know your looks are gonna be just as stunning because you're amazing. Guys, again, if you don't know who Anki is, you really should by now. But if you don't, please head on over to her channel. I will have her channel and her video linked in the description box below. She is 
amazing she is so talented she is so colorful she is the queen of build your own palettes she is my soul sister i absolutely adore her and i know you will too yeah i could just ramble on about how wonderful anki is and just what a great friend she is for hours um but yeah that that would make this video super super long and i don't think you want that and i ramble enough already so anki thank you so much for doing this collab with me and guys thank you so much for watching if you are new if you have just found my channel or if you've come over from anki's channel hello welcome i'm steph i love colorful makeup i love indie brands i just i just love playing with makeup and if if you do too if that all sounds interesting to you then please do consider subscribing come and hang out with me some more because i would love that and let's have a chat in the description in the description box below not in the description box below steph let's have a chat in the comment section below sounds fun and everything i have on my face for this look and for look one will be listed in the description box below for if you want to check any of that out have i rambled enough yes i think i have guys Go over and subscribe to Anki's channel if you haven't already. Watch her video. Say hi from me if you're new over there. If not, just say hi from me anyway because I love her. And thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate you. I love you. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Any late. A little bit of bait and you take a quick turn off these concrete streets we've been running down. Yeah, I need your help. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it up.